Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Stadium playthrough. Last time we took out the Great Ball on uh, Prime Cup, and now before we go on the Ultra Ball, we're going to take a little break and go to the Gym Leader Castle and uh, progress this storyline, I guess you could say. Uh, the Gym Leader Castle is a lot like Prime Cup. It has uh, more storyline elements, though, uh, which means that it basically follows kind of the whole gym leader storyline of the uh, Pokemon Kanto games, which are red, blue, and yellow, for those who don't know. Uh, very quickly, let's look at the rules. Uh, this event is open to all Pokemon. You enter with six, choose three out of six Pokemon, no level restrictions. Opponents Pokemon levels, uh, basically the gym leaders and their underlings will use level 50 Pokemon. However, if you use any Pokemon over level 50, their Pokemon will be the same level as your highest level Pokemon. Uh, no two Pokemon asleep or frozen at the same time, and no self-destruct move with the last Pokemon. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and uh, registered my Pokemon already. Uh, each gym has four trainers. Uh, three underlings and the gym leader itself. Leader of the Pewter City Gym is Brock, a master of uh, rock and ground type Pokemon. And yeah, here's my team ready for action. I should mention that if you uh, want to register your team for the gym leader castle, you must do so uh, before you uh, actually. Uh, you know, play this, because if you register for Prime Cup but not Gym Leader Castle, it won't matter. You have to go to each tournament and register individually, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, first we're fighting Bug Boy, who has nothing but Bug Pokemon. So we're going to be using Fire Kitty for this, and we'll use Helmarok as backup, although I don't think we'll actually need him. And uh, we'll bring Sunnyside, too. So yeah, I have a feeling this battle is just going to be a uh, fire blast all the way. I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> Kitty's going to roast all these guys. Yep, it was. Now, if the trainer's smart, he'll actually use Butterfree or Beedrill here. Because I don't see the point of bringing any of the others. But he brought Kakuna anyway. Yeah, that's stupid. I'm sorry, Bug Boy, but I'm gonna take you out and I'm gonna laugh about it, okay? Yes, I agree, that was a terrible Pokemon choice. It would be even worse if he brought two of the even worse Pokemon with him. Okay, now we thought it would be Droll. That's yeah, cool, he actually did make one correct up pick, but... My god. The other two Pokemon couldn't even do anything. Oh, there we go, Bug Boy's been defeated, and it hasn't even been, like, three minutes yet. <laughs> I do feel like Gym Leader Castle, at least at first, is easier than the uh, Prime Cup. But I think it does get harder over time. And the one uh, interesting thing about the uh, Gym Leader Castle is that for each gym, even though there is a specialty behind it, for instance, even though this is the Rock Gym, uh, the trainers won't have that type necessarily. As you can see, we're fighting a lot of Grass types and uh, Bug types, so... For those, you have to bring fire and uh, flying types, and, you know, those are definitely a huge, huge weakness against rock, so you even have to bring some uh, type disadvantages with you in this. You just can't bring one type only. Although you could probably do it if you fought these Pokemon, but still. Okay, well, let's do this. Home rock. Let's see what you can do here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this fight. Especially if he's going to start with that, of all things. Mm, 
major action already. Okay, what's next? Next, we have a pair. Oh god, that this is going to be overkill. This is going to be overkill to the highest degree. Yeah, it looks like Helmrock's gonna do the same exact thing Fire Kitty did. Oh, it's Although Zubat could survive this, though. Let's the go for uh, Double Edge. Although I guess I could have used Hyper Beam. It is the last Pokemon, after all. Oh, no need. Yeah, Brock, your gym is not really that hard. Just putting that out there. For his sake, I hope the sprinklers don't go off in his gym. Okay, next we have Junior Trainer. Okay, he's kind of getting to the whole Rock family now, so... Uh, let's actually start with Madam Puff, because Madam Puff does have a fighting move and then also a lightning move, just in case those birds come out. So, yeah, she actually has some coverage. And, uh, I'll also bring Sunnyside and me, I guess. Yeah, that works, that works. Okay, let's do this. Okay, it's Sand Shrew. Well, let's uh, first start with a... Actually, let's go with Double Edge instead. I don't think ground types are resistance against normal. I think it's just rock. Well, still, he took that pretty well. Ouch, and this is going to hurt. Oh, thank God for all my defense and HP. Uh, can I use anything else, or should I just... Let's see how much Submission does. I don't think it'll actually do anything. Oh, I missed. Oh, that sucks. Oh no, watch out, he has a sword! Let's try Double Edge again. Maybe I get lucky and get a critical hit here. I don't know. What now? A hit. Nope. That's a pain in the butt. Still improving in state. Yeah, no, we need to take you down. We need to take you down before you use Earthquake again. We do not want that to happen. Double A. Yeah, it's a hit. Pokemon is coming out. Okay, what do we have next? Please be one of the birds. Oh, it's no, it's Doug Trio. The Pokemon are in I don't like that. Uh, yeah, let's get Sunnyside out here because I'm not liking this. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's a Degator! Hyper Beam? Oh my god. Bringing out the big guns. That was pretty damn stupid though, because he essentially just gave me a free shot here. I freaking love how excited that announcer gets. Wow, it's Mega Drain! My life is changing! Hey, look, Rock Slide, the move that freaking Marowak can't learn for some reason. Okay, there we go. Oh, can we please move on to the next one? Let it please not be a bird. Yes, thank you. 
And I'm pretty sure I can finish this off, too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this one did actually give me some difficulty. I was really expecting a bird Pokemon to come out, but... I guess I worried for nothing. Okay, well, I think it's time for Brock. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna do one gym battle per video, so... Um, after I do Brock, I'll probably end the video there. Okay, Brock. Brock the Rock. B-Rock. Rock of Ages. Let's see what you got. Okay, mostly he does have the rock and ground variety. He also has rock and water, so I'm really thinking Sunny Side will be a good way to start. Uh, we'll bring Swan Kirby for backup, and also in case of Vulpix. And I guess we'll also bring Marowak, too. Yeah, that works, that works. Okay, let's see what we got here. What are you going to send out first? Of course, you send out the Vulpix. You know what, that's okay though, because... I'm not scared of a Vulpix. It is going to use fire... Ah, oh, yeah, it is. And I can't switch out, can I? Oh, admit. Well, that works for me. Hey, you just shaked your ass at me. You're a naughty little Vulpix, so you're going down. Okay, yeah, the rest of this battle is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Because, yeah, rock and water, that's just. That's just Mega Drain right there. Anything else? Hell, I might even just use a Solar Beam for anything else. More like a terrible Pokemon choice. It's not like it really knew what I was going to oh, have, though. The remaining well, actually, no, it did, he did know what I was going to have. The battle has become one okay, let's try this. Wow, Onyx is actually faster than... That's surprising. I am actually kind of surprised. Uh... Yeah, let's switch. So I'm pretty sure uh, Swim Kirby's faster. No matter what, though, I think I have to deal with Bind for a little bit anyway, but at least this way I can actually ensure that attack actually moves in. Yep. Hey, look! The sprinklers did go off! In a more violent way, though. Sorry, Brock. Had to do it. So yeah, there we go. Pewter City Gym has been completed. Looks like we're going to get a nice boulder badge for our troubles. Yay! Give me my badge! Yay, and we also opened Misty's Tower now. So, that's what we're going to do next time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope you guys enjoy more of the Gym Leader Castle, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, Star Warriors!